Hi everyone. Um, I haven't done a video in a while because it's really hard for me to um, get in my craft room in the winter months. Um, because my craft room's in a conservatory, it's freezing because it's a really old conservatory. So um, I tend to sort of only do it in the summer months. And um, as the sun's out today, even though it's still really bit cold, um, it warms it up really nicely because obviously it's a conservatory and it's all windows. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a video and show you what I've been working on. Um, I have I have recently brought some of the Premax 6x6 papers, Prima, sorry, um, and I'm using the, this is all used at the Almanac Collection. And um, I absolutely love these papers. I won't bother showing you them all because I know you've seen them all before. So, um, but they're they're absolutely gorgeous, and I use loads of little element, elements out of them. You know, save all your scraps. Um, and I've brought some wooden. Um, I haven't got one to show you. Some wooden primitive hearts um, from my local craft store. Um, just plain wooden primitive hearts, and um, I just sewed it and then done some crackle and some varnishing um, in the background. I used, um, first of all, I used the Tattered Angels Plain Jane baseboard um, and it's gravel so it's got like a, a really nice, you see the red tone um, right, pinky tone to it when the the grey goes goes into it, so um, it it turns really really pretty. So that I used on the base of it. Um, then I went over it with um, distress stain tattered rose, um, and then in the little places I used the tattered angels glimmer glaze, and this one is uh, no that's the wrong one. It's the cloudy blue, um, and these are really really glimmery they're really pretty i don't know if you can see the glimmer stuck on the bottom there um and yeah they're gorgeous i absolutely love these glimmer glazes which i got from blitzy.com um what i did is i cut out some of the um elements out of the paper um pad and i used the there's a there's a little there's like a ticket here um piece of music notes in the background with the keyboard um i had to use the little clock with the little bird's nest and um, the eggs in and glossy accented that up um, cut out special moments put that on um, put the keyboard in the background um, distressed all around the edges with um, I have a new um, I think it's part of the limited edition the gathered twigs I brought the um, distress ink and the stain as well. I haven't yet. I've not used the stain yet, um, but it's it's a really nice earthy brown. I love vintage photo and walnut stain. They they will always be my favourite. But the gathered twigs is is just a really nice earthy colour. Um, so I use that to distress all around the edges. Um, and I use my Tim Holtz distress tool as well. I use this flourish in the background and um, went over it with my um, portrait pink acrylic paint um, waited for it it bubbled up slightly as well and then I also went over that with the um, cloudy blue glimmer gliss glaze as well and um, it turned out really you'd think I'd gone over it with um, glossy accents to be honest because it is really really shiny it's gorgeous um, then I made a stick pin to coordinate with as well a little diamante center in there and small beads um this is a iron roses cherry blossom iron roses mini roses a gardenia i got off ebay and a rose i brought out of my local craft store i used a, a bit of vintage seam binding from wild orchid crafts and tied it in a bow but because i wanted to keep the image of the bird um so that everybody could see it um i, I kind of ruffled it up and um and just sort of like stuck it in places and then sort of glued it to the side as well so it, it sort of it hangs down and um, so it doesn't it doesn't get in the way of the um the little bird image so that's um that's my primitive heart and then it just hangs with a bit of burlap twine and um and a little bead on top and yeah that's that's my primitive heart i'm really pleased with it i um, love how it turned out 
So if you have any questions, um, leave a comment or PM me. Um, thanks for watching. Happy crafting and take care.